This is a revision video for triple only on alternators and dynamos. I'm going to start with dynamos. A dynamo has the same build as a motor. The difference between a dynamo and a motor is that an electric circuit is driving the motor, making it spin. Whereas a dynamo, we're making the coil spin, which is creating the current, which is inducing the current, generating the current. So what happens, we spin this coil, and this coil rotates through the magnetic field lines, rotates through the magnetic field lines, inducing a potential difference, and because this is part of a complete circuit, it generates current. It generates current, and it generates a direct current. So dynamos generate a direct current. And to do this, we need a split ring commutator, just like in a motor. And what the split ring commutator does is it swaps the connection. It swaps the connection every half turn, so the current keeps going in the same direction. So if we were to graph up direct current, it's going like that, but it's always in the same direction. In this case, it's always in the upwards direction. So that's how a dynamo generates direct current. We spin the coil in the magnetic field. The coil breaks the magnetic field lines, which induces a potential, which generates a current. And because we've got a split ring commutator, it swaps the contacts every half, every half term which makes a direct current. An alternator has got a slightly different setup, slightly different setup. So alternators, we've still got a permanent magnet. We still have the coil between the permanent magnets. But this time, Instead of having a split ring commutator, instead we have slip rings and brushes. So we have slip rings and brushes. And what we do is we mechanically rotate the coil. We, ro we mechanically rotate the coil. The coil breaks the magnetic field lines, which induces a potential difference. An induced potential difference part of a complete circuit generates a current, induces a current. And this time, what the slip rings and brushes are for is so they do not swap every half turn. They do not swap every half turn. And because they don't swap, we get current in both directions. And this is alternating current. We get alternating current, and if we were to graph alternating current up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, this, the brushes and the slip rings allow it so they don't swap, so we get alternating current from an alternator.